I'm Rory Mortimer, the author of a paper entitled All We Need is a Fracture Log, just published in the Quarterly Journal of Engineering, Geology and Hydrogeology. The paper attempts to address some of the key issues I've uh, come across while helping teams log the chalk on many big projects, whether they're offshore wind farms or whether they're on major schemes, engineering schemes in southern Britain like the A303 Stonehenge or the Lower Thames Crossing, or many of the tunnels in London. These issues relate to how do we really make a decent fracture log in chalk that's been partly destroyed by drilling, um, and also what do these fractures represent? How do they fit into a broader geological picture? My concern has always been that those who do the logging are often left to carry on doing the work without the necessary support or without fully understanding the origins of the fractures. They are geoscientists and they love to know how their work fits into a broader picture, both in terms of the engineering project they're involved with and in terms of the broader geoscience. So I hope you will enjoy reading this paper and it will help you with your logging in the future.